Hello friends, you are watching Arudire Plus, the professional CAD CAM solution provider. This channel provides basics of finite element analysis and computer-aided mechanical engineering design and analysis using CAD-related software. Let's get started. Hello friends, today I will show you design and analysis of a structural member using SOLIDWORKS. We will start with a very simple model and on that one we will apply load and see how that object will behave okay let's get started so while starting this uh, solid work elements at the beginning we have to create that environment for elements so first of all you create that environment by clicking elements so environment is ready now next one we have to create 3d sketch 3d sketch is ready first of all we will make a rectangle on a specific plane okay let's see now to change the direction of plane we have to go with tab this appears ok let's write smart dimension to that one let's take this one equal to 300 millimeter and this one also same or we can provide equation uh, relations to them to provide all are uh, equal okay let's provide equal dimension 300 done right 300 by 300 is square plate actually so. now next to that we have to draw some lines down down this plane so we'll start with lines now it is not selecting that plane so it is going this way right to select the downward direction we have to start with tab so it is coming down right now okay done again we have to draw the same thing back side so start with line again you can see it's done okay the same thing we'll draw upwards also so line Now let's provide smart dimension to that one. This one let's provide 200 millimeter. Done. This one also 200 where we can provide relations to them also anyone we, what we like yes this one equals to 200 meter okay the top side is this one be 300 okay right next one we can make um, uh, these mirrors of all these uh, these legs right we'll make mirrors of these legs this is done so green check now we'll start with mirror entities it is asking to select the mirror we'll select the legs at the same time we'll select the this up line also it is asking mirror about about this plane which plane let's see the plane regarding the right plane okay it's done now another thing can be done that means this top one horizontal line can be put okay the drawing is completed okay right so drawing is complete we will exit from the sketch and we will start from elements again structural members are required now we have to just drag and drop at this drawings locations only right we have already selected a square tube of size 20 by 20 by 2 millimeter just click that line it will be joined there itself done so here while taking this different constructions we want to have similar type of geometry that will be having one con that will be constituting one group so these four 
and these two are also similar type so these six are constituting one group next one for lining these horizontal lines we have to start a new group this one new groups are formed again new groups will be required for the top one okay done so structural members are ready with this square constructions right now another thing you can see here the ends are not perfectly made together right we have to make this one up little bit so we can do it anytime so what sh we should do is we have to select the trim extend one right trim extend then select the relevant part and the part which one requires to be extended now the second part will be extended up done okay same thing we will follow here also right what we'll do is trim or extend select any relevant part then which one to be extended that one is to be selected this is going up okay done okay now here what can be done let's see what is happening there here yeah, nothing is equal it is fine i think right so no need we can provide some like cases also we can provide okay and at these positions also we can put some gussets and caps also can be provided okay but we will not go for these things we want to just uh, see one simulation only a little bit of analysis is required we want to see the analysis before analysis we want to see the well bits well bits can be provided at the junctions so selecting well bit now well path is equal then one thing tangent propagation that means which surfaces will select it will move tangentially to make the well made bits maybe we are selecting this one this face so round this one it has made again so we will select this one let's select one by one element is done you can see it is going on we click the lines only here also if you click these lines it will be done right let's see here also it is required yes it's done it's done made so almost it is perfect right holding is almost done okay okay this side let's see okay perfect okay holding is complete so green check now we can go for analysis actually for analysis this welding is not necessary without welding also we can go for analysis okay now let's go for analysis we'll go for simulation new study green check it is static structural analysis number one now first of all we have to select material so from part apply material to all bodies and let's select the material as STM A36 steel. Apply, close. Material is ready. Next part is we have to apply some boundary condition. That means bottom face, bottom this four corner should be fixed. So from fixed geometry, fixed geometry, we have to select this bottom joints.
it is done the base is fixed right now to apply force or pressure now well means or beams it is very very important to know that the load is applied on the joints or in the case of beams only so on the surfaces if you want to see any surfaces you will not is not allowable to provide any load on the surface in case of beams load can be applied on beams or joints only right now to apply external load force to be applied it will come under beam sections we we'll select beam and with respect to some plane we have to select right select beams let's select the beams we should apply force on this one with respect to some other reference maybe right let's see the reference maybe we'll take the reference as top plane with respect to top planes we can determine the direction of force applied right let's see this direction will be applicable normal to the plane normal to that top plane we will apply force right and the force should be less we should apply a force of 1000 newton let's see the direction of force it should be reversed okay down done now it is okay force is applied from top right next one to mesh and run So we can see the result right now. It is showing that the in strength is 250 megapascal and stress developed equal to maximum stress developed equal to 60 megapascal. We can change the unit that will be easier for understanding. Edit definition. And one is stress. You can select this one instead of Pascal, you can convert to megapascal okay now let's see in strength equal to 250 megapascal and maximum stress to develop equal to 60 megapascal that means object is very safe factor of safety equal to in strength divided by what working strength maximum stress developed you can find out stress here itself again see result advisor new plot you can see from new plot factor of safety equals to minimum is 4 and maximum is 400 so maximum is very high that one we cannot escape uh, that is actually your stage of material also so in this case we can see factor of safety is 4 it is very high right anyway design is safe that means we can apply more load on this case okay so this is about our analysis and we can check uh, displacement then strain also let's see those things parameters displacement we'll see Displacement like you can see here it is minimum displacement equal to 1 into 10 to the minus 30 millimeter and maximum is 2.1 10 to the minus 1 millimeter that is displacement is very less in this case the, the design is very safe we will see factor of safety also it is minimum is 4.1 and maximum is 421 so maximum is very high okay now you can go for comparison appraisals We'll see different things different results maximum stress developed equal to 60 megapascal and uh, is strength 250 and one minute stress equal to 60 it is very safe down part you can see here in this case it is displacement and this one factor of safety right we can exit from the this comparison study now we can do another thing like which part is having maximum stress that can be also viewed right you can see the red part is a maximum stress that means the junctions here itself right all the four junctions are having maximum stress and which part is a minimum stress that means this base part the top and this part which one is not sub subject to any kind of load those are having max minimum amount of stress developed in this area right okay thank you so much for watching this video if you like please subscribe and share and if you have any kind of doubts, please write to me. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you again. Bye.